Welcome everyone to this edition of Conversations with the Mayor. And this month, one of the conversations that we're going to have, the conversation we're going to have, is about the upcoming Economic Development Summit. Um, sitting with me today, of course, is Mayor Dan Rizzo, and sitting next to Dan Rizzo is John Festa, the Economic Development Director. Yes. Do I have it? Yes. Correctly. <laughs> um, who has been working with the mayor to put this together. Um, the event's going to be October 26th, if I remember correct. It's going to be roughly a half-day summit correct. being held at the Comfort Inn Suites. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about how it got started. Where, 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 where did the idea come from and why are we doing it? Uh, basically, what happened was uh, when the mayor... Uh, appointed me to the position of Director of Economic Development. One of the things that uh, he wanted, uh, stressed very strongly, is to uh, be aggressive in trying to seek uh, developers. Well, Revere has a lot of investment opportunities. And uh, so one of the things that the mayor um, really stressed very heavily was to try to really branch out and be aggressive to try to uh, seek developers nationally, regionally, and uh, to show what Revere has to offer and to go out and be proactive. So by doing something of this nature, we're, we're attracting a lot of attention and we're getting a lot of great responses from developers all across the country. And uh, uh, as I stated, we're going to show what Revere has to offer both, both on, you know, uh, on, on Revere Beach and different sections of Revere and showing our assets and showing how we can work with developers to, to really make a transition in the city of Revere. Mm -hmm. Dan? Yeah. Um, one of the things, as John alluded to, is you know, as, as I campaigned across the city last year, uh, one of my themes and one of my priorities was to have a uh, strong economic development uh, uh, team, mm -hmm. and that's why one of the first, I think, the first hire that I made was to bring on John as my economic development director, uh, which I'm very, very grateful to the city council for their support to help. To help fund that position and to, and to you know, and to, and to uh, help me implement uh, this theory of being proactive as opposed to reactive, yep. um, I wanted to have a very, very aggressive approach to the way we approach economic development. And uh, here we are, ten months into my uh, uh, first year as mayor, and John is really putting together a very, very significant program, as he alluded to. Bringing in developers from you know from uh, out of state, uh, you know not just in New England but you know for, you know beyond, um, to to come to the Comfort Inn on the 26th of October, to see uh, we we really have it's going to start off with a presentation, uh, about an eight to twelve minute video of various sites throughout the city. Uh, it will then take on uh, a period of present uh, of. Uh, of presentations, you know, speakers that will talk about developing in Revere, um, you know, the way we, you know, the way we're looking to streamline the process, the way we're uh, interested in talking about tax increment financing, if that is going to be, uh, 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 you know, a way to to and to have businesses yeah. find their way into the city, um, and then follow, follow, you know, following up to that will be a bus tour throughout the city that will take these prospective investors and developers around the city to actually show them properties that may be available for development or redevelopment. And then it'll all culminate in a luncheon down at Antonia's. So um, we're really trying to put on a, we, you know, we want to put our best foot forward. And, and John knows this, I, you know, we have a shared philosophy of being a first class city. We're not a second class city. We're mm -hmm. a first class city. We want these developers to know that they're going to get a first class experience when they come to the city of Revere. That's fantastic. It's, it's great to hear that. Um, in, in looking to the developers, I'm uh, just curious, this is, you know, when you say you, you, you reach out to developers nationally and, and regionally, how do you do that? Do you, do you have a consulting group that's helping you identify uh, how, how does one go about to cast that net so to speak it's a it's a combination of factors that uh, a combination of working with uh, pe companies like CDM Smith who, mm -hmm. okay. uh, who can help us out and and branching out with we we're working with NIOP uh, with the state agency to really branch out to give us feedback of of developers that they have worked with over the past uh, you know 10 15 years and and also the people that are extremely active across the country so 
So mm -hmm. we got a very, very good feedback as to, you know, what areas that we want to focus in on and what developers we want to focus in on. And, uh, and fortunately, uh, there's been a lot of interest because as we've been having this dialogue, uh, it's, they've been very receptive and we, we're welcoming them. And as the mayor sta stated, you know, we, we want to show what we have to offer, but we also want to show uh, things of, you know, how we can work with them. What, what uh, the permitting process, how we can speed the process up to do it so there's no delays. There's mm -hmm. certain things that, uh, you know, key developers on a certain magnitude look for. And we want to hit that market niche, and we're going to do that. And so we're excited. So we've expanded, and we've looked uh, for help from different agencies in the state, which have been extremely helpful. And also we did our own research as well. So it's been a combination of the two. That's, that's great. And, and speaking of agencies from the state, and I noticed looking at the agenda, um, you have a no number of people participating from the state, from the sure. state house delegation, um, in, in, in including a number of departments. So talk about that a little bit, uh, some of the people that will be speaking that day. Well, we're very, very fortunate, and I say this all the time, um, to have uh, the state delegation that we have. I mean, obviously, starting right at the top with Speaker Bob DeLeo, he's been a great advocate for the city of Revere for a long, long time now and continues to be, and really in a position now to, uh, you know, to really uh, paint Revere in a very, very positive light. We've got Kathy Reinstein in leadership right now, um, you know, uh, assistant majority leader, um, uh, a great advocate for the city of Revere, and, and Senator Petroselli, who's quickly made his mark here in the city, um, you know, and, uh, and very, very sharp guy, and uh, always willing to help the city out with respects to anything that we need as a, a city at a state level. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, I say this all the time, I'm very, very fortunate to have people like that to work with in our state delegation. And then beyond that, you know, we have, uh, you know, Mass Off, you know, the uh, Mass Office of Housing and Economic Development. We've got Mass Office of Business Development. We've got Mass Development. Uh, so we've got a lot of different resources that the city is really starting to reach out and use as a resource. They want to be used as a resource to help communities. And particularly as a gateway city, um, you know, there's programs out there and uh, resources out there that, that um, you know, I'm really in, encouraging, you know, John to reach out and use uh, because they are at our disposal. And, um, you know, as I say, Riviera is, I think, on the cusp. We've got two and a half miles of coastline that I don't, I think anybody would argue it's, it's vastly underutilized. And, uh, but we've been entertaining proposals now virtually since the day I walked into, into the mayor's office. And, uh, you know, I think you're going to see, uh, if we're having this conversation next year at this time, w the city will have made some significant progress uh, in, in, uh, in several different areas. Okay. So. Looking, looking forward mm -hmm. to that. And, and, and going back to the agenda, and, and one of, I think I saw one of the names on there was Lieutenant Governor Murray. So you have support and participation from... Yes, um, uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor Murray is, has been invited, and uh, um, hopefully he will attend that. And okay. uh, he, our, our representative from okay. from his office will be attending. But as the mayor, as the mayor alluded to, we we have we wanted to show these developers that we have support not only on the local level but on the right. state level. And as the mayor stated, there's this programs out there that uh, Revere has not touched upon. And now what's happening is when we're branching out to these individuals, a mass housing uh, development. Uh, they're, they're looking at it and saying, wow, Revere is being aggressive. They, yep. w w there's, there's programs, there's funding available. So we want to show them when these developers come in and they come into the summit, they want to know about the investment opportunities, but they want to know what programs are available, what the city is going to do. So it's a very master plan as to how we are going to approach this and how we can get this investment dollars in the mm -hmm. city. And that's so vitally important. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I, and, and uh, I was just going to say, and one of the things... Uh, I may be getting a little ahead of ourselves here, but one of the things that obviously the city is trying to shake, um, and uh, it happens uh, it happens quite a bit, unfortunately, is the city of Revere, um, uh, you know, not necessarily under my predecessor, um, but I, for whatever reason has always had this um, kind of perception of being a hard place to do business and a hard place, you know, um, to... Uh, to uh, get off the ground from a, a developer mm -hmm. standpoint, and that that you know the permitting process, the red tape, all you know everything that goes along with uh, getting into the ground, um, 
really is nothing but cost at that point to the developer. And carrying costs are very, very mm -hmm. important. Waiting time is very, very important for a developer. So, you know, I've made it clear through John, and John is carrying that message throughout the entire team that makes economic development possible here in the city, that it is our goal to, 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 to make sure that everybody is doing their job, that we are ramped up and ready to, you know, that we're open for business. You know, people come here, you know, you know, they're our customer. We're welcoming them. They're adding to our tax base. They're helping us grow our communities. And this is the message that we want to send out there to people. So that's the reason we have our state delegation here. That's the reason that we've invited Lieutenant Governor Murray to, to participate. That's the reason we have Victoria McGuire and uh, Marty Jones that, that are going to come here and attest to the fact that they're there to support their efforts in developing here in the city of Revere. Mm -hmm. Sure, and I would imagine the developers coming in, I mean, that's one of the things they're going to look for. Is there a functioning team that's, that's ready to move on this as we come in or so that we're not just spinning our wheels, so to speak? Yeah. Absolutely. They, they want to know that when they come in here that and they're looking to invest in, into the city of Revere, that the process, that first of all, they're going to be welcome. Number two, uh, obviously we look at it from a twofold perspective. We look at it that, A, we want to go out and we want to be uh, aggressive in attracting these developers and at the same time we want to make sure that the developments are done properly as well so you know we, we look at that but we we need to make sure that they have a pleasurable experience that they get the answers right away if, if there's if they want to invest in this city if there's something that they want to do and, it, and there's some um, uh, problems with that and well we need to address it how do we address it in a quick and efficient fashion so that's what we're trying to do we want to make sure we're all on the same page we all have the the mayor's goals and objectives in mind and uh, and we take it very seriously but we want to have uh, by doing something of this nature nature we can we can show developers uh, across the country the professionalism the city of Revere has and, and uh, what we have to offer and and, and I think that uh, it's quite exciting and yeah. you know, what's happening now the response has been great well it's got to be exciting to be in, in your position to be able to you know to help and, and and I said on on election night when I was talking with Bob Maher and a number of other people you know you just mm -hmm. had the sense that Revere is on the cusp of Absolutely. some some great things I yeah. think and 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 this is just kind of moving it on in that direction and, and it's wonderful Wonderful to see some some good buzz about the city, you know, yeah. and I think you know things like the the Columbus Day Breakfast that just took place, mm -hmm. which was a huge success, and bringing back the Columbus Day Parade. These are all things that are going to put the city on the map, so to speak. And, and the Sand Sculpting Festival next year is the 10th anniversary. Yeah. Things of that nature just just bring the city out and the great things in the city. And of course, we've got this beautiful beach and we talked about. I think it was one of the Super Bowl games. Where I was talking about how they referred to Revere as the uh, Beautiful seaside resort of Revere, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so it, it's wonderful. Well you put. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah right. exactly. You want to hear that again? <laughs> <laughs> um, in 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 the agenda, in in some of the information I was reading, there was talk about you know discussing some of the investment opportunities and and things that that are will be available. Can you talk about some of those investment opportunities or oh. development opportunities, rather? Oh, sure. There's, there's uh, I don't know where to begin. There's, there's many. You talk about investment uh, opportunities. Uh, absolutely, afterwards. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's so many. Like, we'll, we'll start. Uh, we, we have something now uh, where it's very close to the possibility of a gaming facility coming at Suffolk at the at the old uh, Shaw supermarket site. I think I heard um, something you think about a little, that. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it, there's a very exciting possibility that could happen there. There's an investment opportunity that, you know, uh, uh, that it's so close to the beach, it's close to uh, Suffolk Downs. And then if you go further down on, on Revere Beach, there's numerous properties that developers are looking at for, for um, development opportunities. The, the Castle Moss site is one. Um, also, we're working very vigorously with um, with uh, Mr. DeGangi from Eurovest mm -hmm. on Parcel H. Uh, we've got a very exciting, I think, uh, project may be coming forward very soon on, on that site. So all along the beach, we have a great, uh, another site is the Wonderland, uh, the old Wonderland dog track yep. site that that uh, has been shown a lot of interest from a lot of different entities. So we're entertaining that as well. And I said to the mayor, you know, I've been here a long time and I've never seen so much uh, possibilities. And I really believe in my heart with what all these different developers that are coming in on the summit and also that are showing interest right now, that you will see a transformation in the next two to three years like you've never seen before. And I really believe that in my heart. Ed. But there's a vast number of investment opportunities yeah, well, right across the board. As I said, it it it, it is very exciting, you mm -hmm. know, to, to to be here at this time to see 
you know, these things happening. Um, one of the other things that you mentioned earlier is it's going to take place as a tour of the city. You want to talk a little bit about the points that are uh, in, 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 that you're going to highlight on that tour? Sure. Uh, we're, we're obviously, we're going to start um, from, you know, from Logan Airport, the 1A corridor, and we're going to show all the properties on both sides coming into Revere and uh, what the zoning and what apostles of land are available, both uh, land and also uh, current buildings that may be for sale uh, mm -hmm. or possibility for commercial developments. And then as we go forward, we, there's going to be visuals of fly-throughs from the possibility of the gaming facility, and as I mentioned prior, uh, about the Shaw Supermarket. Then we're gonna continue down all along Revere Beach. Every single opportunity um, uh, is going to be highlighted, uh, vacant parcels of land and also buildings as well. And then, uh, obviously, Wonderland, we're going to be showing that. And then we're also going to continue. That's when we're not just going to focus on that area. We're also going to be focusing more north as well, going to, like, Northgate Shopping Center. Okay. Uh, we yep. feel that that right now might be a little underutilized, and we would like to see, I know the mayor's vision down there is to really see that grow and expand. And, uh, you know, with obviously with Overlook Ridge being developed. And, uh, you know, and one of the things, you know, we're not only going to stop at Northgate, we're going to look at every, you know, a lot of the sites. We're going to highlight the sites that we think that will be attractive for initial in investment. And not just on the beach and Northgate, you know, expanding, you know, wherever there's an opportunity. So we highlighted numerous sites, and then what we're going to do is we're going to show what the zoning is, the acreage, what could be done on the site, and also on a couple of the sites, we're also going to show a possibility of a vision that we have uh, for, the, uh, for the next generation in the city of Revere. Mm -hmm. So... It's a now, now, the event is invitation, basically. I think you sent out mm -hmm. invites to the various developers. Is that, yes. that true? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's, um, it's by invitation because obviously we wanted to have it, um, you know, we wanted this uh, program for, you know, for serious people that, mm -hmm. that, that were, you know, are genuinely interested in mm -hmm. some of the possibilities that we have. One of the things, I haven't shared this with John yet, but I hope during that bus tour, is that they make a little stop at Parcel H, at Wonderland, mm -hmm. and take them up to the top floor of that parking garage and take a view oh. both over to the dog track side and over to the ocean side, just so they get a sense of what they can actually see mm -hmm. high above, you know, instead of from ground level, right. look out and see what they actually have there. Because, you know, I, I mean, I think, I think once people do that, um, and I've brought people up there in the past. Um, it kind of speaks for itself. You don't have to do mm -hmm. any more of a sales pitch to people that are interested mm -hmm. in investing here. If you bring them up there, you show them, you go up six stories, five, six stories, you look out, you see the Boston skyline over here, you've got virtually all of Revere over here, and then you turn around, you've got right. the beautiful ocean front over here. I mean, you know, you you know, you factor that in with our proximity to Boston, five minutes from downtown and five minutes from Logan Airport. I mean, it makes perfect sense for people that are are, are looking for a place to invest their money to, to you know, further expand their businesses or, um, you know, talk about, uh, you know, we you know we talk an awful lot about hotel development, but I think I've entertained uh, with John uh, probably. Uh, three or four anyway, uh, hotel developments. Yes. Um, and it's frustrating, you know, because, you know, as I say, our administration's been here for less than 10 months now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we wish there was a couple of shovels in the ground already, but nothing happens overnight. And everything, especially when you're talking about major projects, you know, projects that, you know, 50, 60, 100, 200 million dollar projects, those take a while, you know, just a permitting process, state permitting process and so on. Not, not, yeah. not the city of Revere, but, but you know the different processes that they have to go through just to get to that point. You know, not to mention uh, negotiations with the landowners or, or, or leaseholders and things like that. Everything takes time. So I think the most frustrating thing for you know for myself, and I don't mean to speak for John, but I think for John as well, is that we haven't seen that shovel in the ground yeah. yet. We haven't seen the excavators and the backhoes moving on to the sites to get everything going. I mean. You know, because we can feel it, you know, but it should, we know we're just not there yet. So we're just going to keep going. And, uh, you know, uh, as these proposals start to come to fruition, um, it'll be something, obviously, for us to show the general public. Uh, uh, you know, certainly our tax base could use it. 
and uh, and really the 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 actual utility of what I see coming into this city mm -hmm. is going to be a great benefit for our residents. You know, um, it's not just for taxes that we you know that we want to grow our city. It's to give it's to give our residents a better quality of life and more access to to uh, you know. Um, uh, recreational opportunities, restaurants, shops, things like that. I mean, I think that uh, we build a lot of value in in bringing in uh, new investment and new development. And yeah. along with the mayor is saying, you know, <clears throat> some of the developers that we're aggressively seeking to do developments in the city, as the mayor stated, it's multi-million dollar investments. It's the due diligence process takes a, a long time. And one of the things that we're stressing to these developers is is to really build something that we call landmark buildings so that the aesthetics of these buildings are, are very very beautiful it's not going to be just you know I, i'm very excited because i know that some of these developers what they're doing now they're in that process and some of the concepts that they have is just it's just it's 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 breathtaking and that's what we want we want to be able to look at these buildings and say wow that that's a beautiful looking building we're proud of it people from all over the country can come in and we'll be very impressed not only from from a financial standpoint from the city of Rivia, but also from the the aesthetics of that building so it it, it is frustrating because it's taken a long time and uh, sometimes your patience grows thin a little bit but you you have to be persistent and then if you stay on them and you and you make sure that all the answers are being uh, uh, being accomplished and uh, hopefully like like the mayor said next year at this time um, I'm hoping to have some very exciting news so someday maybe on the on the skyline of Revere Beach we'll have a the sail type building oh, you know like in Abu Dhabi yeah. there <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the pictures yet we have some very very interesting development and John's 100% right you know we're looking we are looking for landmark buildings we're not looking for concrete blocks, you know. We're looking for people with a vision, and we're looking for developers with a vision. There have been a couple of developers that, where we've had control over the land and over the property and the usage, that we quite honestly have told we didn't like their plan and we're not interested, you know. So, I mean, as much as it would have may maybe meant some money to us uh, by way of taxes, mm -hmm. we do, you know. It's all about a vision. I mean, it's a it's. It kind of coincides with our, our vision for Broadway and what we want to do for our central business district, you know. And, and that, you, you just hit upon something, the vision, a plan. Mm -hmm. You know, um, obviously, we are on the cusp. There's so many things. It's wide open. It's like the Wild West a little bit in a way. But, but you know, you need to have, you have a plan. And, right. and I know Frank is involved in city planning for mm -hmm. years, Frank Stringy. Um, and I'm sure you're, you're working closely with him. Yep. He's part of your team. I saw his name on the list. But... A big part of what you're doing is not only trying to bring in developers, get them interested, but also to have them work in concert with your vision, Absolutely. where you see the city going, and the plan that you envision for the city. Is that something you'll be talking about that day of the the, the summit? Is what the city's vision is, and, and where, where, where you're taking? I've it? got a five minute role. John's basically one of the show. <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, okay. the, I can absolutely answer that. Yes, to answer your question, yes, we do have a vision. Well, everything that we're doing, we have a master plan, whether it's uh, Broadway, uh, yes. revitalization, we have yep. a three-year process on what we want to do. We just don't want to, uh, maybe in the past what had happened was we felt that developments were individualized. Now what we're doing, what we're going to show with the Economic Development Summit, we're going to show what we like to see on Revere Beach and how can we make this happen, you know, so that it's, it's not being one hotel's going up here, another hotel's going over yep. here, or we want to make sure that when it's all said and done, we can look back and say, this is the vision that we have for Revere Beach, and not just for Revere Beach, but throughout the whole city. So, right. you know, we, uh, I know the mayor and I uh, very much agree on this. Before we do anything, we like to have a plan and an approach and a, and a, and a strategy on how to yep. accomplish that. And so we will be talking about what we like to see in different areas in the city. Uh, a matter of fact, to the point where we'll have bullet points as to, you know, uh, really spell out to these developers that are coming in, you know, what we're looking to do. Yep. If I could just follow up on that yes. just very briefly, um, you know, it's going to be, I mean, kind of similar to almost us putting out an RFP. Yes. Where, yep. You yes. know, this is priority number one. This is what we'd like to see. Correct. To a lesser extent, this is what we'd like to see, number two. Number three, this is, and let people know where the city of Revere's interest lies. Um, you know, I think that's very, very important because the one thing we don't want to do, and I used the word earlier, order takers, I don't want to be an order taker. We want to right. dictate what comes into the city mm -hmm. and grow the city the way that we see as the best fit for, for our residents in our city. So, 
And, and going back to what I said earlier, we're in a position now, I think you're in a position now to where, where you don't have to be order takers anymore. Yeah, right. Really. You That's know. right. I mean, in, in the past, and, and as you said, no no taking away from, from the other mayors and the other um, um, administrations that existed previous, but, you know, it was such that, you know, that Revere didn't have the best reputation, right. and sometimes we had to take things that came along and make the best that we could with it, and, right. and that's what was done. Right. Fortunately, now... It's got a little bit more cachet with everything that's going Absolutely. on, and so now you can say we can pick and choose. Yeah. Well, one of so one of the things that uh, a lot of developers are saying, uh, they come in, they say they didn't realize that they call it the lost jewel, and that phrase keeps on coming up, and that they when they come and as the mayor stated, when they come and see the beach or they come and see this different areas, they don't. You know, now they're realizing the potential, and that's why there's so much interest. Now they're seeing it. It's ex exposed. And I think, you know, what we're doing um, in the administration is, is really promoting and, and really trying to go out and get the developers, and, and that's why you're seeing so much interest. Yeah, I mean, definitely the visual. I mean, you know, like developers come into my office, and we're immediately spinning them around and taking them to different sites, you know, because I think it's all about the visual. You can sit and talk numbers and talk about... But you know what, you have to see, they need to see what we have. A lot, a lot of people, believe it or not, we know what we have. A lot yeah. of people outside the city Do not don't. Know. Correct. Yeah. That's right. So it's just getting that word out. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's October 26th. I think we'll actually Revere TV will be there. We'll okay. be uh, cable casting the right. event, so and right. it'll be shown on TV. I think you're going to have representation from the other TV stations that are yes. in, the, in the area as well, correct? That's correct. Uh, yep. um, so it's going to be well publicized. Yes, and uh, all the uh, media uh, yep. will be notified, and uh, we're very excited about it. So one more great piece of buzz for the city of Absolutely. Revere. <laughs> okay, so that's the economic development on the 26th. I'm looking forward to hearing... Uh, what comes out of that, and and some of the some of the great ideas, the great uh, possibilities, okay. I guess, that start to develop. So this is uh, just the beginning. <laughs> well, and, and you know, just let me say from my perspective, I I do I do appreciate the good word that uh, I guess this will be a little opportunity for me to uh, to thank you and what uh, uh, Revere TV uh, is doing. Uh, on a community level to bring the, the word of what we're doing here as an administration out to the people. I really, um, I think there's a, a lot of benefit to that and I'm a very appreciative, you know, uh, for that opportunity. Well, so I know communication is a big um, idea, I guess not idea as such, but a big issue for you and, yeah. and we're glad to be part of helping you uh, get through uh, with the communication. Right. Well, we definitely <laughs> appreciate it. Ed. All right. Thank you. Ed. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. For Revere TV, Conversations with the Mayor, thank you all. Take care. We'll see you next month.